Okay, so now for part two of the Bebop 2 4G soft mod installation. In the first video, we ran you through how to set up all the configuration files on the soft mod for the Bebop 2 and the Sky Controller. So if you haven't done this yet, uh, I will leave a link for part one and I suggest that you do that first and then come through here uh, read through the instructions numerous times a couple of times before you start the initial installation so that as you're watching and working through the install it is easy for you so now we're going to move on to installing the soft mod onto the machine itself so we need to ensure that the bebop 2 and the sky controller are on the latest firmware which i'd already done uh, ensure there's sufficient storage so take all your videos off just to make sure only takes up 10 megs but might as well start with the clean slate turn on your bebop 2 with your 4g modem plugged in it needs to have your sim card inside obviously ensure that you have no device plugged into your sky controllers usb port at all while we're following through these steps turn on your sky controller and wait until it connects to the bebop 2 via wi-fi now i find that it's best to do what you would standardly do uh, obviously with the modem on plugged into your bebop 2 is turn your bebop 2 on then once you hear the two or three beeps turn on your sky controller and wait for the green light uh, ensure there's no device turn on your sky controller connect your PC Wi-Fi to your Bebop so we'll do that now Bebop 2 will connect there's no password attached to that uh, just for your information the Bebop and the disco have the same IP address now using FileZilla which we downloaded in the first installation video will connect to this FTP address so you can either just highlight it here and do a control copy or type it in yourself and we need to make sure that we change from binary or ASC double I um, to binary sorry uh, in the FileZilla I'll show you how to do that and then we need to transfer all the files the config files that we worked on before so the entire Bebop to 4G master folder to internal triple zero folder on the Bebop so I think what we'll do now is we will open FileZilla we will I just copied the IP address so I've got that I will first check in the settings to make sure that in the transfer under file types here that we are set to binary not auto or ASC double I but clicked into binary and we can click OK there okay so I'm going to right click in the host and press paste and enter and you'll see here that you have internal triple zero now obviously I've run through this install a number of times to make sure that it works so you will not have the UAV PAL I repeat you will not have this folder here so don't panic when you open your FTP program and it's not there now I have put my 
files in onto my desktop so I will go to my desktop I will go down to my bebop soft mod I will then grab my bebop 24g dash 1.1 folder and I will drag it across and dump it in the internal underscore triple zero folder as you can see it's transferring the files once it's done you'll get file transfer complete transfer finished at the bottom down here you can disconnect from the bebop by pressing the computer with the red X and close out of there so now that I've done that we need to tell that to our bebop now here you can see that we have made sure that we transferred them as a binary file we transferred the entire directory to the internal triple zero now we need to press the bebop power button four times to make it into a telnet server so one two three four and we need to open a command prompt and copy and paste the following commands into the command prompt so what we'll do is we'll just copy the commands and we will open a command prompt and tell net to our bebop and as you know this is the IP address so we will type in cm cmd press enter this is our command prompt we'll type in telnet 192.168.42.1 and i'm just going to make sure that i'm connected to my bebop which i am not which is my own fault so i apologize for that if you get any error message it's worth checking that you have you are connected to your bay button so let's try that again just a little shortcut f3 will retype your last command okay so I know I'm connected through telnet because I have forward slash hash we ha have copied our commands so you cannot do a control paste you actually have to right click and paste the commands we'll run through the commands tell you everything's a-ok -okay. reboot hit enter turn off your sky controller and wait for your bebop to reboot quite often after it's rebooted I just restart it anyway just purely because I like to make sure that uh, everything is fresh now what I'm going to do is start up my bebop and I am going to once I have heard the beeps as I have turn on my sky controller and wait for the green buttons the green flash sorry to show that I've got a Wi-Fi connection I will then grab my bebop okay so now we've got the solid light on the modem and we're connected via Wi-Fi to our Bebop 2 
let's double press our settings button and see if we can get a connection okay so we've started up the Bebop 2 got the solid light on the modem sorry for the tape run out of um, velcro and double pressed the settings button to get a solid blue light on our sky controller giving us a connection uh, which I'll show you what it looks like in zero tier okay now <clears throat> we move over to our computer we log into a zero tier account hopefully as you can see on the right hand side number two which means that there are two units connected to zero tier I've called my network Parrot uh, you can call it whatever you like as per part one of the video I'll click on that and head down to the bottom of the page and for ease of use to show what's online at the moment okay so we now have the Bebop and the Sky Controller online I need to authorize by clicking ticking the authorize button and make sure that we click allow Ethernet bridge as per the instructions and do the same for the second one now initially this will say name obviously I've already changed mine but you will work out which is your sky controller and which is your bebop when you connect okay so I'm connected and I am ready to fly so good luck uh, I hope that uh, these instructionals were helpful to you uh, please give a like and subscribe more content will be uploaded as we come up with more mods there will be more mod videos coming as there have been a few good ones made and I think I might do some uh, battery mods as well if someone can fly 133 kilometers then I think that uh, knowing how to put that battery together would be great so good luck with your flights comment below and please please join us on slack at UAV Pal, there's hundreds of people there to give you a hand it's a great community and well worth joining just for a chat all the links for uh, what you require are in the description big thanks to Mark Bueller slack link in description also so like, comment and subscribe and look forward to chatting to you on Slack. Cheers.